हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज डॉट नेट ऊप्स पार्ट सेवन टिल नाउ आई हैव कवर्ड लॉट्स ऑफ डॉट नेट ऊप्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आंसर विथ प्रैक्टिकल सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच अर्लियर वीडियोस यू कैन वॉच दोज वीडियोस एज वेल सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चन विच आई कवर्ड इन अर्लियर वीडियोज इन पार्ट सेवन आई कवर वन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज द इनहेरिटेंस because in interview that is quite frequently asked and uh, there are lots of interview questions for inheritance so we'll start from basic then we'll uh, study about some logical and some uh, most frequently asked questions in interview so first question is what is inheritance so if we want to give the definition of inheritance so one of the most important concept in object oriented programming is inheritance inheritance allow us to define a class in terms of another class which makes it easier to create and maintain an application this also provides an opportunity to reuse the code functionality and speeds up the implementation time in short you can say inheritance is used to provide the code reusability so if we want to Uh, reutilize the code then we can use the inheritance okay so this is the first question sometime in definition uh, it is asked what is inheritance okay and uh, what is base parent and child or derived class so let's do one thing open the visual studio and we'll implement or will inherit one class so this is the console application which i was using last application in last video so first let's create one class here let's give the class name employee and uh, then we'll inherit that class so let's give the name employee okay so this is the class let's give the public i hope you guys remember by default classes so by default classes internal uh, so suppose i have two method public string get day so this method will return the current day how to return the current day date time dot now dot day of day of week okay since it is a enum i have to convert it in a string so we can say this way okay so this is the simple method and suppose i have one more method public or uh, let's take it private private in count is equal to 10 and now this is the class i want to inherit that class in suppose i have class 1 and public class test i want to inherit employee in this test class so how to write it employee okay so this is the way by which i can inherit a class so this colon uh, symbol is used and here sometime uh, in interview you are asked which is the parent and which is the child class or which is the base or which is the derived class so always remember one formula cp means left hand side is a child and parent okay and this test is also called here you can say test is child or derived class and employee is child sorry parent or base class or base class okay so uh, don't be confused if you remember this cp1 so left hand side one will be child and uh, this p means parent okay yeah so that was the second question what is base parent or child derived class okay and uh, how to reuse inherited members in child class it means i have got one method here the method name is get day this method how i can use in this inheritance why because inheritance 
provides the code reusability so how i can reuse that particular method in child or derived class so let's write here public void print day okay so uh, when this interview question is asked uh, how i can reutilize or i can access this method get day so lots of people give the answer let's create the object and by creating the object and using the object we can access the this method but this is wrong why because we have already inheritance then we don't need the object of that particular class we can directly write the method here get day and if you write directly get day it will inherit or it will use this base class method get day and another way another way is used to that method is base base get day okay and uh, maybe in interview you might be asked this so this is this means current class and current class uh, since it inherits parent class so all the members of this current as well as parent will be available so suppose i have int here value is equal to 20 and if you use this this and value so as you can see uh, value print day get day is available but if you use base so only base method or base member will be available here okay and uh, even okay, let's remove it so uh, how to reuse uh, the parent member here so i, I uh, showed you by example how we can use the uh, base class member variable methods in child class so next question is does c sharp support uh, multiple inheritance okay multiple inheritance means when a class inherits more than one class so suppose i let's do one thing here i have one class and I'll create one more class, public class emp1. Now let's go here and if I write emp1, okay. Now what is happening? This class is inheriting more than one class, and this is known as a multiple inheritance. And if I build the application, let's see what happens. Build. And as you can see, already it's showing us a red line. It means uh, this will not support uh, multiple inheritance because C sharp does not support multiple inheritance. Why it does not support uh, multiple inheritance? There is a reason behind it, and uh, maybe in upcoming videos I'll explain why C sharp does not support uh, multiple inheritance. So what could be our answer here? So does C sharp supports multiple inheritance? No. Okay, then maybe uh, you might be asked in interview then if c sharp does not support multiple inheritance can we achieve the multiple inheritance yes we can achieve the multiple inheritance and how we can achieve the multiple inheritance through interface okay so we can achieve the uh, multiple inheritance through interface uh, i know most of people uh, might be new for interface and uh, for this i'll uh, explain uh, what is interface how to use the interface how we can achieve the multiple inheritance uh, through uh, interface also okay so as you can see build failed if we go to error uh, list screen so we'll see here the error and what is the error class test can't have multiple base class okay it means it can't have uh, this class if i remove it uh, then we can utilize this class for inheritance so in this video let's summarize what we studied what is inheritance so so in short you can say code reusability okay what is base class and uh, derived class so uh, base class and uh, child class i explained for this you have to remember cp so child always left side and p parent okay parent is 
right side and uh, and uh, uh, child class is always also called derived class and parent class is also called base class so don't be confused between these words so let me write here so it is called derived okay derived and uh, uh, this t is also base class uh, you can say parent base class okay uh, how to uh, reuse uh, inherited member in child class directly we can write the method directly, directly we can directly we can uh, write the parent member okay the c sharp uh, supports multiple inheritance no how to achieve multiple inheritance through interface okay i hope uh, uh, you like my video if you have any questions suggestions uh, or if you want me to cover any specific uh, oops.net interview question please you can uh, give a comment and i'll be creating videos on uh, those suggestions thanks for watching uh, please subscribe my video thanks goodbye